amazing job. I'm also wearing this necklace. Girl. Hey guys, welcome back to another day in the life. Today is Thursday. I'm about to go get my nails done. I took them off yesterday. I haven't got my nails done since the pandemic started, so it's been a while. My toes, I'm embarrassed, but I'm gonna show y'all because you gotta see this. Girl, these are my toes. Besides them being extremely ashy, they look crazy. So um, I need to actually take off the rest of this polish to just make it easier once I get there. I've never been to this nail salon before, but I heard about it from Octavia B on YouTube and Instagram. So that's where she goes in Jersey. I'm wearing a really simple, basic outfit, just this white top. And then this is from Pretty Little Thing. Then I'm wearing these biker shorts. These are from Princess Polly. And then I'm wearing my um, Speedy today. And for jewelry, I'm also wearing this necklace that I showed y'all in my last video. Um, this is from Ana Luisa, and I still have a discount code with them in case you're interested, but I really, really love it. It just makes this simple outfit just really pop. Oh my gosh, y'all. So I kept this out here to show you guys. I went to put this bra on. I went to go put this bra on this morning. This bra, one of my favorites, because it's a really nice push-up from Victoria's Secret. You see this? You see this? This is where the strap is supposed to be. The, the attachment is completely gone. It's not even like it's on the other side. Like it's just this side. And then it's missing. I don't know what the hell happened. Did my washer eat it? <laughs> Girl. I'll show you guys the sunscreen that I'm going to use today. I'm just going to use my super goop because I'm not wearing makeup. Oh, by the way, it's been a full week since I got my brows done. Today's Thursday. I got them last Thursday. And this is what they're looking like. Like, this one is half off already. Um, it's going to get a little darker than this. Um, it's still peeling. Um, and then eventually they're going to get a little darker than this right here. And then I have to get a touch up in like a month or so. So, yeah, they look really good so far. Right, I'm just going to put this on. I gotta take this sticker off my face. I have this huge pimple. I'm gonna wear my burrito da freak today. I've been wearing this all week, obsessed. Oh, and sunglasses. My purse. You wanna see my toes, y'all? <laughs> this is what my toes look like right now. I'm trying to get this polish off. Oh, it's coming off. So. The story goes that um, in that time, the Georgian people were slaves. Well, they were being traded as slaves. All right, so I just got home, y'all. This is what my manicure is looking like. Let me go to the window. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. She did such an amazing job. Wow. Let me show you guys my other hand. They look so good. And then on my toes, on my toes I got a French pedicure. So yeah, um, I have her info link down below in case you live in the area and you want to check out the nail salon. She's amazing. I went to Nuri. She's the owner. Uh, but yeah, it looks looks really good. Anyways, I'm going to go figure out my life for a second because I need to figure out what I need to do. And I'll talk to you guys later. I feel like I should be doing something, but I can't remember what it is. Hey y'all, so today is the next day. I didn't really vlog much yesterday because I because I fell asleep. I took a nap and then I had like nothing going on. But today's the next day. We all dressed. We're going to a park. You want to say hi? Hello, and we're going to a park and I'm bringing my special scooter I got on my birthday. All right, let me show you my outfit real quick. I'm wearing this dress. This is from my Princess Polly haul that I did a couple weeks, days ago. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the white dress, the flowy one. I think it's really pretty. This is a Michael Kors, um, I forget what, like a camera bag or whatever it's called. I'm wearing this Ana Luisa necklace right here. Whoa, you did some nice thing up here. Clay, look at this. Like, they close this. They're not showing off right now.
Hey y'all, so I just got in the car. I'm about to go to the European Wax Center to get wax done. And I'm gonna go grab a drink at Starbucks. I just figured I would do that because I really have nothing else to do today and I figured I can get this in today. So I guess it's like a self-care vlog going on because I got my nails done and then I'm about to get my wax done. So yeah, I haven't been there since February. Hey y'all, back in the car. So let me show y'all the drink real quick. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. I got, it's basically a lemonade with um, classic syrup, strawberry, no, classic syrup, raspberry syrup, and strawberries. Y'all need to say a little prayer for me because <laughs> the European wax center that I'm going to right now is actually right next to Sephora. I'm trying to put a little budget aside. Don't do it, girl. Don't do it. <laughs> I just got to the, um, the little mall where the wax place is at it's not really a mall it's like well it's an outdoor mall i guess like a strip mall it's not closed in so um my drink is almost finished y'all have like this much it's basically finished i'm like drinking like ice at this point <laughs> oh my i just slurped the smallest chip of ice and it literally went to the back of my throat I'm gonna touch that little dangly thing in the back of my throat. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. That was so painful. I feel like because I haven't gone in a while, it was like, ooh, it was extra painful. <sighs> but we're good. I'm about to go home. Today's Saturday. I'm wearing this uh, little top. This is from Skims. And this is from Skims. And these are from little thing wearing this little necklace this one is from Anna Luisa well I just cleaned up a little bit in my room because it was kind of messy I still want to clean this section right here oh my brows are completely done flaking so this is what they look like I read online and I was also told by the brow tech that around 14 days is when you'll see the true color so it's only been nine days today so I have to wait another like four or five days to see the true color. It's going to be a little bit darker than this, but I'm really excited. They look so good so far. I love them. So yeah, just woke up, already had brows on. Amazing. It's amazing. All right, so let me do my sunscreen. Today I'm going to use the Super Goop one. This is the SPF 40. This is the old packaging. I think they have a new packaging for like a bunch of their products, but I'm using the old one. So I'm going to... This on. I don't know when this expires actually because oh my god it expired already <laughs> all right maybe I should not have done the oh my gosh I did not realize this expired crap I really like the sunscreen though typically in medicine um I work with you know different doctors obviously I work with doctors um, but typically um, the consensus is that usually when things expire they don't really expire it's kind of like from what I've heard it's usually like you have a few months after the actual date on the product just because yeah I don't know that's what I've heard but from multiple doctors um, yeah i do have to get rid of this though because i know now but i'm annoyed because this is actually my favorite go-to one when i have no makeup on and i was not trying to buy sunscreen today i really wasn't <laughs> oh a bunch of you actually actually a bunch of y'all told me to try some neutrogena one all right y'all so i'm about to order my drinks i'm gonna get one for me and one for Johnny. This is so annoying, y'all. Like, there's, like, no rain today. Well, that's good, but I'm going to tell you why it's annoying. I know I was going on vacation, so I wanted to do some activities with the kids and stuff. So, originally, I wanted to go to the beach yesterday, but when I looked on the weather forecast... Is that a spider? Is that a spider? What the... All right, let me close the cart. Yeah, I got it. Mm, no. No, no, no. What the... Where is this spider? I'm about to kill it. Where is the spider? I'm not playing. 
All right, so this tripod is from Joby, and it's like supposed to be for a GoPro, but I use it for my camera. It's really cool because you just snap it on and it bends. Y'all, is legit a flying? Is that a what the hell is this? <sighs> All right, I got it out the window. <laughs> All right, I got it out. It's out the window. Oh shit. All right, so what I was saying, anyways, back to the weather. Um, basically, I was looking at the weather and I planned to go to the beach because I'm on vacation. And the weather said that it was going to rain. So I was like, crap, it's going to rain on Friday. We'll go on Saturday. Friday comes, ain't no rain, but then it says it's going to rain on Saturday. So I'm like, okay, so we can't go on Saturday. That's annoying, but mm, whatever. So today is Saturday, y'all, and I look at the weather and there's no rain. So that's why I'm annoyed because I'm like, I kind of arranged my whole day around this and now there's no rain. So my kids are actually friends this morning, which is so cool. Like, I love when they're friends. They fight all the time. Like, not all the time, but very often. <laughs> I feel like that's what happens when you have like siblings that are close in age, though. Like, a lot of times, either they're best friends or they're fighting. When I tell y'all everyone is at Starbucks today, I mean, everyone is i'm literally in the last spot in the parking lot there's no more spots so i got my drink i did not go in my, with my mask looking like this <laughs> all right i'm in this weird spot right now because it was the last spot and i need to concentrate to get out of this and not hit my car <laughs> i gotta take the sunglasses off to really concentrate <laughs> All right, back in the car, and I almost got the wrong sunscreen, you guys. I literally had it in my hand for like five minutes, and then I was like, you know what? I have to find that comment. I have. It was a couple comments, to be honest, but I couldn't remember where they were, and um, I couldn't find the screenshots of them. And then eventually, I remembered a particular video that I filmed recently that the same comment came up, the same recommendation. And I knew exactly which video it was. I went to the video and I found the comment. So shout out to you. Thank you. I'm going to tell you who it was right now that I commented from Life with Janielle right here. So this is the sunscreen right here. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost that you were wondering. Ooh, it feels like... Oh, it's really like see-through. Wow. This is like a moisturizer. Oh, it smells good too. It reminds me of the Hydro Boost line. Like the um, moisturizer. Oh, this feels really good yeah it's definitely see-through wow hey y'all it's actually a lot later but I'm on my way home now I went to the mall because I wanted to grab cheesecake factory dinner so I got two salads and an appetizer from the cheesecake factory and I also went to the mall because I wanted to go to Hermes so my bag so yeah we went to Hermes and I had a really funny experience there which I'll tell you guys all about I almost feel like it was racist but I'm not sure because I'm not one to just call everything racist like I feel like that word gets thrown around a lot at situations that are not really racist maybe prejudiced maybe rude but definitely not always racist because some people are just rude people my face is so shiny. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm about to put these on because the AC has been bothering my eyes for some reason. I don't know if any of you guys have ever experienced this in your car, but I feel like the AC is like messing with my eyes. I decided to go to the mall to get Cheesecake Factory, but I chose to go to this particular mall like 30 minutes away because they also have the Hermes store. Um, I have a Cheesecake Factory like 15 minutes from my house, but I want to go to that particular mall to go to the store right so I looked online and it said the store was open so I went and when I got there there was a sign on the door saying it was only by appointment so I was like oh my gosh I drove all the way here and I don't have an appointment so I was gonna call the number to see if I could get an appointment for the same day because you never know so anyways before calling the number though this sales associate comes out when I got there, there was another guy also waiting. She comes out and she um, goes to get him. So I'm not sure if he had an appointment. I didn't really hear any exchange of words besides him saying that he was here to fix his tie or something like that. So she takes him in and she doesn't even look at me. She blatantly ignores me and pretends I don't, I'm not standing there. Doesn't even say hello, hi, how are you doing? Nothing, y'all. Like She just literally closes the door and I'm just standing there like, that's kind of weird but okay cool 
So I'm still looking at her while she's shutting the door and closing the lock. And I guess she like looks at me briefly and sees me staring at her. So she unlocks the door, opens it, and then asks me like why, like what I'm here for, like, you know, whatever. So I told her, oh, I'm, I just realized that I needed to have an appointment, but I didn't. So like while I'm saying this, she's nodding her head like, yeah, girl, you need an appointment. So I'm like, okay, maybe this lady is just a little... I don't know like not I don't, maybe she's just a little antsy or I don't know what it is but she was like nodding her head like yeah like you need an appointment so I'm like yeah I was just wondering if maybe someone could help me still if there was any appointments available she goes um well um yeah you need an appointment I have two clients after this so I don't know if I can help you she's, she's like what do you need and I told her what I needed she was like I don't know if we have those um and she was kind of like brushed me off and was like like in a hurry to leave so she ends up leaving goes inside closes the door and I stood there because she's kind of said that she's not sure if she could help me so it kind of gave me the impression that maybe she'll be helping me but maybe not the fact that I had already driven so far not so far but you know far <laughs> further than I had to um, I decided to stand back and wait to see if maybe she could help me and she was at a counter directly in front of the door so I could see her and she didn't really talk to any associates she didn't talk to any associates she was just standing in the in the counter helping the guy with his tie and um, I'm standing there like just waiting to see maybe when she's done with him she'll come back out to me because her other two clients hadn't gotten there yet so eventually like I want to say less than a minute later someone else comes to the door and sh she sees me there so she opens it up and um, she's like asking me if I need any help so I started to explain to her that um, I had just spoken to this associate which was right there pointed her out and I told her that I didn't have an appointment and she's like no 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 it's fine I don't have any clients right now so I'm like what it was just so fast y'all like I had no time to react I could not believe that there was actually an associate with no client who was free but she didn't even ask anybody if they were able to help me she just literally had me standing there knowing there were people or maybe not knowing but even if she could have asked if anyone was available to help me because clearly there was someone who was there to help so um you know this lady was really nice she was amazing she ended up um, asking me what I wanted I told her she again said that she's not sure if they'll have it in the store but we went and we checked and they ended up having I don't want to tell you guys what it is yet cuz I want to show y'all you know but they ended up having it and um, it was it ended up working out perfectly it was amazing she was happy I was happy and I walked out really really excited but it was just really weird I don't know tell me what y'all think about that situation like how would you interpret it I try to give people the benefit of the doubt all the time I'm one of those people who could see both sides to every situation like I said I don't like to call things out for things that I don't know if that's what it is I'm just telling you how I felt but let me know what you would have thought in that situation the first thing I mean honestly what really really made me feel like it was not right was the fact that there was someone else who was available and she made it seem like everyone was booked and busy and there was literally no one that could help me and she was gonna try to squeeze me in like if she could like, I don't know it just seemed weird so that was my little adventure and then I went to Starbucks to get another one of those drinks that I told you guys about yesterday my car is in the Harlem Shake right now. Give me a second, y'all. <laughs> All right, let me go inside. All right, so this is what I got. I got this um, salad here. This is the appetizer. Um. All right, so I'm sitting on the floor. This is the best spot I could find. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys. Ah! Oh, my gosh. All right, so first I'm going to show you all the tripod that came. Got my handy-dandy box cutter. When I ordered this, it said it was going to arrive on August 17th. So I'm happy it came like 10 days early. Oh, I got a hella fresh coupon with it. That's cool. And um, this is the little um, tripod. So as you can see on here, it has the record button. It has um, photo button here, photo button. And then you could customize 
um, the buttons as well to make it do whatever you want. This is the tripod, so I'm really happy. So yeah, that's that. You open it like this to make it a real tripod, and you can hold it like this. And... Oop. Oopsie. Okay, this is the box. It's, she gave me a sample of this product. This is the a spray. She said it was a perfume. Yeah, it's a perfume. It is this one here. This says Hermes um, En Jardin. So it's probably like a garden scent. Hmm, it smells very fresh. It's not bad. Like I, it's not bad. Oh, she gave me some more of it. En Jardin Mediterranean. Yeah, she gave me a couple. And then she gave me two more of the same sample. But in like this form. This actually smells kind of good. This is the receipt here. Can you guys guess what I got? If you know what I got, comment down below what I got and what color I got it in. Don't cheat. Open it up. Let's open it up. This is the inside. So clearly, you guys already know what it is by seeing two different bags here. I got a pair of shoes. So these are the dust bags for the shoes. They each have one of their own. Like how fancy one for each shoe okay so this is the bag like wow and then this is it oh my gosh I got the orange sandal this is very popular and I got this in a 39 and a half so the story behind the sizing is pretty funny it has some paper in here and it fits perfectly I tried them on they fit amazing so this is the right side and obviously we have the left side. This is the back and this is the front. About these. So basically I went in, like I told you, um, she said that she wasn't sure if she had my size. Um, I don't think I said size. I didn't want you guys to know what I got. But she didn't know if she had my size because um, it's a very popular shoe and a very popular size and a very popular color. So she wasn't sure. Um, she said she thought she was. it was probably sold out. I wanted either this color or the white color. But the tan was really my first choice. I feel like it goes with the white really easily. And also it transitions into fall very easily like tan is a really perfect um fall color so anyway since both of these colors are very popular and it's a popular shoe she didn't think she would have the size in stock and so she checked her phone and they were both not in stock for my size my size is eight and a half so um or 38 and a half 38.5 so she looked and she didn't have either in stock but she had the white one in 39 so the app was telling her she had the white in 39 but she felt like it was not true because um she didn't remember seeing the white one so um she went to the back anyway to go look for it she comes back and she goes yeah i figured we didn't have the white one because i don't remember us having it um so the app was basically lying but she did um find a tan pair and the last one they had was a size 39.5 so that's a whole size up from my typical size um but she was like you know i know it's a size up but let's still try it i figured i would still bring it out and you can try it out and just see you know how it fits i put the shoe on it was literally my size like literally my actual size so basically in their shoes i am a size nine and with most heels i know to go up at least a half size if not a full size but typically with sandals i can wear my true size but apparently, since it's a French brand, maybe they run a, real, a little smaller. We were both so, so excited, you guys. Like, so joyful <laughs> that the size fit so perfectly. We couldn't believe it. Like, it was actually, like, if I got a size 7, uh, if I got an 8.5, my foot would have been way off the shoe. Yeah, anyways, I think that's it for this vlog. Um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video.